In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to browse as a guest on a Chromebook. So if you're maybe giving your Chromebook to someone and you want them to be able to use it as a guest and not have anything, not be logged into any of your accounts and not be able to access any of your files or anything like that, you can use guest mode. Or maybe if you're doing something on your Chromebook where you just want none of your normal stuff to be there and you want it to be a completely clean and empty guest mode, that might also be a time when you want to use guest mode. So if you want to use guest mode on your Chromebook, if you're logged in already, so Timmy's currently logged into Timmy's Chromebook in a normal account, you'll actually need to log out of that account. So you just need to click on the time down here and then click on this sign out button here. So click on sign out and now it will be signed out. So you'll go back to the page where you normally put your password in when you're logging in. So you'll have to click sign out if you were already signed into your account. But if you're just turning on your Chromebook at the moment, it'll, you'll just be at this page anyway. So you just need to do whatever you need to do to get to this screen like this. And now you'll see browse as a guest button down here. And you'll just need to click on that. And now, within a few seconds, it will straight away take you, take you into browsing as a guest mode. So you'll see this new Chrome tab here that says you're browsing as a guest, and you can browse and do whatever you want in Chrome here. So for example, if you go to google.com in Chrome here, you'll see that you're not signed into Google here, so you're not signed into your regular Google account. And if you go to any other website, you won't be signed into that either. It's like you're turning on a new device and not signing into anything. And also all of your apps will not be there. So if you click on this circle and then click on this up arrow here, which would normally reveal all your apps, the only apps you'll have are Chrome and Files, Camera, Settings, and Explore. So it gives you a few basic built-in Chrome OS things like the camera and the files, but it doesn't have any apps in it and you actually can't install any apps on it. So that's another way that it's just sort of for guests. And you also won't be able to access any of your regular files. So if you go into the files app, you'll have your downloads folder here, but you'll see there's no actual files inside the downloads folder. It's just empty and you won't have Google Drive. And if you go into these recent folders and things, there'll be nothing in here unless you download something from Google Chrome now. So it really is completely empty and you're not signed in at all. It's guest mode. So that's really cool. And then once you're finished with guest mode, all you need to do is click on the time in the bottom right corner here and then click on exit guest. And now it will take you back to the login screen. So it's just back at this screen like you're turning on your Chromebook and now you can just put in your password and sign back in and be using your regular account. So that's really cool and that's all there is to using guest mode on a Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below and if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool and Timmy will see you in the next video.